for slaying my call to throw first. Game on. It is the world number one versus the Polish number one. I'm Dan Dawson, Paul Nicholson alongside me for the opening quarter final of the night. You get all four quarters, two semis, and the final is Michael wow. Van Gogh in the man to beat Nico. Probably have to say yes after that. He knows what it takes to get through the quarter final on a Sunday night more than anybody else. 100. And everybody's been asked the question over the course of the last couple of seasons what's the most difficult thing on a Sunday when you could potentially. 95. have to play four games it is the break in between the last 16 and the quarters and it's what you do but these guys look pretty fresh to me and we talked last week about ring 100. rust i think we can probably stop talking about that now i think everybody's pretty much back in the groove well michael van gerwin has had a tough route here had to beat Michael Smith in a repeat of the World Championship final. Then he had to see off Mensor Sulevic in a repeat of the final from last weekend in Austria. He was tested in both games, but came through. Michael, you require 170. Now he faces a former world master in Ratajski. Can he kick off with the biggest checkout in the game? No. 121. Ratajski came through what can only be described as a belter against Adrian Lewis, where he survived the match door. Well, Adrian could, could have nicked 49. it with a 167 out. Just in the 17. 17. But two misses outside. Allow a chance. Fifty-four needed. Bullseye. 98. Line was Michael perfect. Just a bit too much adrenaline. And Michael sweep up and find this green bit. He can. On the first leg. Excellent dart. As he blocks the bed and first. finds the angle. Only a 17 data to start. Now, MVG and Ratajski. This is only their third meeting. But if you think that Ratajski is just cannon fodder for the world number one, think again. Yes, he's lost the previous two. Lost at the World Cup in their singles game. Didn't really perform to his capabilities but he averaged more than 101 when they met on the Euro Tour earlier this year in Munich and he was only beaten 6-4 it was a Brahma Ratajski can beat anyone he could win anything he's won 95. five PDC ranking titles in the last 18 months one of the most consistent players on the PDC Tour, and this weekend he's been averaging in the high 90s right the way through. He doesn't look like he's going to stop at the minute, does he? Well, scoring at the start of the Adrian Lewis game was too much for Jackpot to handle. It's too much One in this leg for MVG. He leaves a finish just in case. Out of nowhere, you could see it. Double 16. His favourite corner, and he had a little look over there as if to Michael say, well, where's Michael? Well, Michael's right behind you. Maybe in front of you. Oh, oh what an effort. Nearly sees off the 142 eight. after the 180 setup shot. Rattling Christoph's cage. Difficult man to rattle, though, the pole. But is he rattled? A <laughs> little bit of gumption in leg two. I don't mind that at all. So the, I've, I've nicknamed it the armchair celebration because it's two arms right out. Yeah. Bit Robocop style. Yeah, yeah, yes. What did they call that big enemy of Robocop in the original movie? The one that had the, the two guns either side. Oh, that's a good question. Come on, you lot. We're not going to Google it here or use any other search engine. 96. But it's, it's the one celebration he has. Yeah, it's he does. It's quintessentially Christopher Tyski. When he's let out of his cage, yeah. that's what he does. I thought that'd be a nice segment on the Dart Show. Christoph's cage. That's well, we, we have interviewed Christoph in the past. His English is it's all right. But I think 61. he's going to have to improve because I, I don't see him going anywhere. He's into the top 32 in the world rankings. He's won five titles. I genuinely think that he's a contender to, to win these and indeed major tournaments. I just think he's so, so 100. consistent. Very much like... Mensor Sulevich was when he first appeared playing a lot of stuff. I mean, he's averaging more than 
Michael Smith and Gary Anderson on the tour this year. 95. Over nearly 80 games, he's averaging more than 96 in the Players' Championship stuff. I mean, that's unreal. Yeah, I think the similarities between Ratajski and Sulevich are very fair, considering they've been Michael top soft tip nine. players in Central and Eastern Europe and transported their game to steel tip incredibly well. And he's got a chance here, Ratajski. 69. Christophe hits tops to leave tops, which is a bit flashy. Worked. But this might work. Double 16. Oh, that's plagued him today. Michael you can see 40. in his face. On the combo shots, he just hasn't been able to pick it. The third leg. And Michael, Michael Van Gerwen finishes leg three third. with two tops in different visits. Well... Three legs, all one on throw, but in every single one, 100. the player looking to break has had a dart at the end of a combination finish. This is tight. 99. I'll tell you one thing about Christoph's English. It's better than my Polish. Yes. I don't think anybody will dispute that. Well, I, I also posed the question earlier to 100. our audience. What do Polish people have for Sunday lunch? And someone said pierogies? I've, I've, I've no idea what that is. 140. You just toss that out there with nothing to follow it up and back up there. I have course. nothing. Right, okay, fair enough. I'm like Whitney Houston. Nice. <laughs> Good crowd in for tonight. 46. Lively as well. They seemed a little bit subdued at times this afternoon, but by the end of the afternoon session with... Glenn Durant and Gerwin Price going absolutely berserk in terms of their stats they were shucking. They really did get stuck into it. And if Durant can continue to play like that all day, he could walk away with his first Euro Tour title. Rob Cross still looking for a first Euro Tour title, of course. And the winner of this one could face Rob Cross, but he'll have to get past Dave Chisnell in the second quarter final. Last night was a big party atmosphere here in my mark talent. But the order today has been just spot on. I think we've got some real dot hipsters in today. 59. Michael, you require 106. Gets himself down to a two data, but Van Gerwen won't take the 106. 58. These are the chances. You've got to take them. 96. Can't give MVG a sniff on 48. The scoring has not been pinpoint in this leg for Christoph. 60. And the finishing has Michael let him down a little bit too. You've got to be clinical if you're playing the best player in the world. 32. Well, you've got to hope that he has one of those days Christoph where he misses doubles. 36. And in the minute, it's looking like he might have one of those days. Good yeah. leave. A little shake of the head, he but it doesn't matter. It's what you call a two-dart conversion. Fifth leg, Michael Four legs in, and game quite off. frankly, the way that MVG was playing this time last week, the game was probably almost over. Well, it was close, wasn't it? And he annihilated Ricky Evans in eight and a half minutes. Six nil, we will not see anything like that. What do you think Christoph's chances are of having a, a deep run in something in, say, the Grand Slam, the Grand Prix? Players Championship Finals, all the world. So what do you, where do you think his best run will come? Well, I do, I just been to carry on the Mentor Sulevic analogy, it was Mentor made his first major final at the European Championship. He went there as the second seed. Now, Christoph is not going to go in as, as that higher seed. He'll be very well played. We could do. I mean, if he wins here and wins in Risa and wins in Gibraltar, he might. But. I do think the European Championship is one of those tournaments where you've, you've seeded 1 to 32 based on the Euro Tour order of merit, and it does throw up some strange matches. It could open up for him. And I think you could find Christophe going to run there, but I do think he'd be very dangerous at the Grand Prix. 14's or bull. Gone for the bull, gets it. And misses that double 16 again, and it's another opportunity to break the Van Gerwen throw. Single 14. He needs the ball. 99. He shakes it. 
Michael but he Lewis doesn't ping it. And Michael Van Gerwen is using up lives here. 16. And he's given another one to Christoph. Christoph, you've acquired Uncharacteristic 25. from MVG. We've seen him do this over the last few months. Can people punish him? Game Christoph punishes play. him on this Christoph occasion and takes the lead. That's always the question. If Van Gerwen is off his game, as it was with Taylor back in the day, if he has an Sixth off game, Christoph if he misses some doubles, has off. his opponent got what it takes to punish? Because it is much harder to punish Michael Van Gerwen than just some random bloke off the tour. Because the importance 99. of beating the best player on the planet, particularly when you haven't done it before, which Christoph hasn't, and it does just add some pressure. 139. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is equally the best run that Christoph has had in a Euro Tour. He has not gone beyond the quarterfinals. You are quite right. He has not beaten Michael Van Gerwen before. It could be a big, big 85. night for Christoph Ratajski. And if he were to beat the world number one, then who's to say he wouldn't carry on and win two more games and take the title? Well, I'm going to stick my neck out, actually. I think if Christoph gets it done here, I think he will win it. Well, the one thing that you would say about Christoph is that he doesn't seem to be phased by things. He was a, I, I was very disappointed with him, I have to say, in his game against Rob Cross at the World Match Play. Just didn't really show up. But And it, what surprised me was he came off and, and basically said, won. I've had quite a good week. I got here, I've played there for the first time. Oh, I've lost to the world number two. But I think, I, I thought he might expect a little bit more from himself. 58. Comes across as quite a humble fella. And what he's done in darts over the course of the last few years cannot be underestimated. Absolutely not. Although what? that visit from him there was a shocker. Because he's left himself a bogey number. And he's allowed Michael Van Gerwen back into this. What does Michael say? Michael, you've acquired 40 mistakes. That doesn't mean just technically. It means mathematically too. And Michael Van Gerwen has changed tack. He's Michael gone to tops. He's abandoned 16s. And it was a really prudent plan. Why abandon a double that you won your first world title on? Adley tops all the time the way he hits it. 134. There we go. He knows he's in a game, Van Gerwen. The celebrations, the 57. shouts, the roars. He can be smashing people all over the board and averaging 115, and you don't get celebrations like that. You get them when he's under stress. Yeah, when he needs that little adrenaline burst. He knows that on Sunday evenings at the Euro Tour, you have to pace yourself if you want to have enough energy to win it. But there are times where you need that extra jolt, and that was at the start of this leg. Well, I don't think Michael Van Gogh is going to be able to coast to the title. It could be the Polish number one, Ratajski. Five titles in 18 months, including two this year. Could be the world number two, Rob Cross, to follow. Could be Glenn Durham, a man he's not beaten. Michael, you've acquired 170. Yeah, 170 won't go. Ratajski has managed to leave himself a bogey 134. number. 134. Well, look at that for punishment of leaving yourself on a bogey number. Mm. Two I mean, legs in a row. At least this one was by missing Michael the segment he was going 56. for. The last one was a mathematical problem. He hit what he wanted. It just left him in the wrong number. The play. Salt Michael in the Van wound, Gerwin. isn't it? Eight to throw first, game Van Gerwen getting that double 18 first start. He's putting those missed doubles from earlier behind him. 100. Ratajski has a, a strong end to this year. Maybe picks 60. up one more title potentially, has a couple of good runs. And they do bring back the contenders. What do you think about Christoph being a contender? Wow. 140. I wouldn't be against it at all. I just think he's I just think he's so very, very good at this game. One but this man is the best on planet Earth at it. Four maximums for Mighty Mike. It does make you wonder, doesn't it, if there is anybody better than Michael Van Gerwen on another planet? 60. I mean, I would say a tentative no, but willing to be proven wrong. I would love to be 97. in 
a time where we have interplanetary battles on the dartboard. Well, three world championships for his name. He could theoretically become the first intergalactic 123. champion. Oh, he's very good. I think he would fancy a bit of that. 164 is just too much for him. 41. Christoph, you require 78. Treble 18 for double 12. 20 for tops. Over the top of that one, not moving. 38. Doesn't really need to. The day's darts go in the board. They've got to go in the right place, though. Michael, you require 123. Didn't. Did you notice how he threw that single 20 a bit quicker? Says to me that maybe the concentration isn't 100%. 42. Expecting to just Christoph hit that you single, 40. you've got to give every single dart your attention. He missed a couple of singles Gage earlier. He hasn't Christoph missed tops Christoph this Christoph time. Christoph 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 4 4. And the worst he could possibly do in this match is the same result as the last time he played MVG. Yeah. Right, he's lost by two legs on both occasions. 6 4 on the Euro Tour. Although he had nine points more on his average on that occasion. Now he's thrown 101 average here. He might have won this game already. 59. The other times at the World Cup when he was beaten 4 2, short format games, of course. Two players here who are using equipment that has not changed in what seems like forever. Go back to when Rutowski first came on the scene. This is what he was using. MVG hasn't changed that stuff at all. He's put a logo on his flight. That's it. He knows how to use him. Five 180s in nine legs of darts from Michael Van Gerwen. Looking very good to go within a leg. 95. Michael, you require 81. Oh, wonderful. Game Look at that. The ninth leg. Michael Van MVG Gerwin. showing why he's Ten the best Christoph player in the world. Because when it gets to the thick end of the stick, he reserves his best stuff. And Ratajski needs to be two legs perfect now without any mistakes. 96. Otherwise, he'll be out. And you could see there, it was just a calm stride back to the back of the stage. Business time for Michael Van Gerwen. No shouts, no roars, because he feels 59. that he's done what he needs to to give himself, put himself in the position to win it. He still has to win it, though. We might, and the socks are being pulled up. We still might see some 59. antics from MVG, because Ratajski has the opportunity to push him to the very brink. And, of course... It was Melitor Sulevich, it was the last leg decider. 58. In which he beat MVG in the final last week. Uh, Christoph on 3 4 6 after 6. And most legs will be trailing MVG, but Michael's let him off. I think that one's just snuck in. 100. As is that one. Lovely example of how Ratajski can just nestle them over the top, Terry Jenkins style. 133. Can he get up and down in two visits from 206? He's going to stay there. 140. And why not? Well, Van Gerwen playing on the 19s. And to great effect because a 171 applies all kinds of pressure on the Polish number one. Beautiful dart. Double six. Unfazed, undeterred, and unbowed. Christoph Ratajski pins the double six. We are going to a last leg decider. Oh, Ratajski's giving it the full boxing head tilt here and there, shaking off the arm. Oh, I like it. As long as he doesn't go full on Andrew Galotta and start punching Michael below the belt. Ninety-seven. Van Gerwen, he's been so good in the 19s the last leg and a half. 135. Going all around the board here. Hitting things seemingly at will. Ratajski needs to fill this up. And he's not going to. 140 minimum. No. This game is slipping away for the Polish number one. 59. He has battled and fought hard here. But Van Gerwen is averaging 102. He'll have to stay on the 20s. To, well, he doesn't need to, actually. 60. can't leave a finish from 3, 4, 5. Well, but he secretly wants to finish this game on a 170. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You've seen him do it so often. 
but leaving 170 almost deliberately. Four big trebles. In the first six starts in this leg has really put Ratowski in a bad position. This one could go. <laughs> it's probably a blessing that it didn't. Because now he can choose a double that he wants and not get snookered a bit. Or can he at least put some pressure on? Got to go downstairs. Oh, Christophe. Well, surely that's it now. Michael Van Gerwen wants double four. 57. But he will get more opportunities. And Christoph Ratajski just hasn't been able to live with him in this last leg decider. He's getting closer to him. And he's got really close just in case. Michael, you require eight. But it is just in case. And it does not matter because Michael Van Gerwen put through his paces once more. Michael Smith couldn't stop him. Mensor Sulevic couldn't stop him. And Christoph Ratajski, try as he might, could not stop him either.